Jeff, good morning. Good morning. And what do we got here today that looks so interesting? Jeff Lagasse from uh, Gen 1 Customs, right? Yes. In Ocala, Florida. Ocala, Florida. All right. And uh, what are we doing here today? We are here to let people know where we're at, 26 years experience. We're putting real deal, non-diluted, strong SiO2 ceramic from System X on vehicles, prepping the right way. We have a vehicle for three days. We do extensive compounding. Larry's vehicle, actually, he wasn't happy with the orange peel on it. And we took sandpaper and wet sand all the orange peel off. And it, and it looks great. By the way. And it looks amazing. <laughs> it um, does. Very, very this happy with the outcome on that. All right. uh, we're here in the villages letting everybody know where we're at in Ocala. Um, and we offer the real deal. We've been doing it for 26 years. Excellent. Now, tell me a little bit about, you said you did some paint correction on this car, which, let me just pan over here. This is a 2021, I believe. Uh, C8 Corvette, and I wish you could see it in person. It looks absolutely spectacular. Tell us what you did uh, to this car. Well, Larry was in the showroom. I went with him actually to pick this car up. Uh, he was looking at a black one that was in there. Could see his reflection from the orange peel. And uh, I knew what he was going to say when he said, well, I hope my car doesn't look like that. Yeah. So we went every panel, and as you see my reflection, my hand, it's perfectly straight. There's no bumps, no orange peel. We wet sanded and resurfaced the entire vehicle with 2,000 grit, 1,500, 2,000, and 3,000 disc, and then polished it uh, and got it back to shine, and then we coated it. And this is what we've got now. He's got a permanent coating, um, not going anywhere. He came to the shop the other day to get a wash on it, beads water like crazy. We actually dried it with a blower that he carries in the trunk, uh, and he's very happy with it. And um, hopefully we can get some business out here from the beautiful villages. Excellent. All right. Beautiful uh, spot. I wish you could be here today to see what's going on because uh, this car, if you look at the reflection, which is really spectacular, it is perfect and it is. Oh, yeah. Look at the car. Oh, that's, that's a good one right there. Look at the card and see how it reflects beautifully no off the paint. No bumps in the letters. No bumps in the letters. Nothing. Nope. Perfect. All right, Jeff. Thank you very much. Man. All right. Thanks for, thanks for coming today. No problem. Thank you, guys. Nice. Hello, my name is John Balo. Hi, John. How are you today? I'm doing great. You guys are looking great. Thanks for coming over here and asking or answering my question. Uh, and the question today is, what do you think about the, what's your, what's your impressions of the new Z, C8, Z06? Well, my first impression is, is that it's a sports car that the market's been waiting for for a very long time. Um, normally aspirated, flat plane crank, I think the hobby or the enthusiast has been waiting for that engine for a long, long time. You know, we saw it first in the Mustangs, and now it finally came to GM, and, and I can't tell you how excited I am personally for that car. Uh, and normally aspirated 670 horsepower sounds very special. Awesome. That's good. Now over here, I'm going to go to your partner over here, your new buddy. <laughs> They've been talking airplanes <laughs> this morning. Good morning. I own a, uh, a 2020 uh, C8. Matter of fact, I took my delivery two years and about a week ago. Yeah, so one of I remember that. Have. Yeah, so, so it was kind of neat. Uh, the Z06, uh, uh, not being what I call a, 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 a race car type fan, I probably have a different focus on it, but uh, I think it's a great car. I, 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 the, the styling is nice. Uh, you know, the fact that it's a little bit wider in the back, uh, I think is also kind, kind of like the Grand Sport deal, you know, but, uh, but uh, I, I'm excited for it. Uh, I actually watched your, your uh, online, your, your live streaming since I was out of town, but uh, oh yeah, yeah. So I thank you oh, for good. that because I was uh, interesting watching it. So yeah, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the pricing on it too. Uh, see what it comes out to be. But um, yes, the pricing seems to be a mystery. They don't want to release the price. The only thing that scares me about that is that it's probably going to be higher than I suspect. <laughs> well, and that's probably true because I mean, you, you, how many millions of dollars did oh, they right. spend to develop that engine? And you've got to, have to amortize that off over a lower production number. So, so the pricing is going to be higher than I think the spread was on the C7s. Hi, Bob. Good morning. This is Dwayne Griff. I have a 20 
C8, and I was down at uh, Nehas for the Z06 showing on Monday. I thought it was great. I was hoping that they would have a red one. I have a red car. I'm really not into the yellow too much. Uh, it was a good turnout. I was thinking that there'd even be more. But it was nice to see the features. You know, you read about it and you see it, but to actually get up and touch it, it it's a little bit different experience. I didn't even get it in the car because I knew it was basically just like the car that I own, so that wasn't necessary. But I saw you go walking around and, and explaining the features to everybody. I thought that was very nice. It was it was a good presentation. Um, like I said, I thought the red one would be around. I think there's a the yellow one and the red one running around. I was hoping the red one would be here, but. So that was kind of a disappointment, but in general, I'm glad that they came and brought it locally for everybody to see. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah, it was a good experience. It was nice to have some music in the food truck and all those things too, so they did it up pretty good. Yeah, they did. I thought they did too. And uh, they just don't want to tell us the price. I'm getting, is it, the price is so high, they're gonna make us all uh, collapse and go into cardiac arrest or something i don't know what are they doing with the price i don't get that well i, I think it's going to be a base with no options about 90. Uh, you know it could be 100. i, I still think it's going to be 89 995. yeah i do too but uh, <laughs> yeah there's a prices batting around all over the place you know speculation you know, even 120 and things like that well with options you're going to be maybe even over 150,000. But uh, you can make it into anything you want. But the pricing, I think, is probably a couple months away. I think that's a nice feature too, is that you can make it into anything you want. And it's, you know, you can really, if you're if you're a track rat, and you want all of the, uh, you know, you're going to spend a lot of money for the car, but you're going to have one hell of a car for the track. Absolutely. And my main reason for getting the Z06 over the regular Stinger is I just want the engine. I don't really care I know. about. The, I don't really care about the, rest of the car. I just want that engine. It sounds like a Formula One race car, and that's, yeah, what, that's, it does. that's what I like. <laughs> so I'm not into the carbon fiber thing. I'm not going to track the car. No. Um, but it, it's just nice, and I know there aren't going to be many of them around. So. All right. Hey, hey, Bob. Nice to see you again, Larry Hartle. This is my Corvette. Uh, 21, uh, waiting to get the Z06, like we saw up in Wildwood. Oh, yeah. I like the Z06. I first saw the Z06, we went to SEMA uh, in, back in November, and they had two of them. They had a silver and they had an orange, and they had a convertible, which I obviously I have a convertible, and I was disappointed that at Nahas they didn't have a convertible. I wanted to see it, but not disappointed in the car. Again, saw it in November, so no big surprises on it. Love the car, want the car, hope to get the car. We'll see how it turns out. Hi, Tom. Nice to see you here today. Um, I think you've seen the new Z06. Yes. Tell me what you think. I think they're gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, um, I see a lot of them here. I don't see no older ones, uh, but uh, these here are uh, top-notch. Yeah, these are the regular C8s, but the new one that just came out with the flat plane crank engine, 670 horsepower. Yes. Uh, that's the one we all want. It hasn't been put out yet, unfortunately. Yeah. But um, what do you think of that one? That's wonderful. Really nice. Uh, the, I know the first one uh, went for a few million. Yes. The 001 on the VIN number. Yep. Uh, same guy bought it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yes, I, real, I don't know what the difference is as far as performance goes between these and that one, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be uh, very, very, you know, much, much, much higher in uh, value as far as uh, these go. Hi, I'm Jim Suzak. I'm from Clarkson, Michigan originally, down living in the villages. Yeah, doing a snowbird right now. Nice. Yeah. So t tell me, we were talking about this earlier, just before we turned the camera on. Uh, what do you think of the new 670 horsepower Z06 Corvette? Love it. Absolutely love it. As a matter of fact, uh, working up in Michigan, I worked at GM Design. Really? Yes. And I was, I seen this car about three, four years ago. Wow. And it, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. Yeah. I worked in the design area where we did the 
exterior interior design. I'm, I wasn't in a powertrain, so I'm not really too sure about the powertrain too much. I don't know too much about it, other than just reading about it. Now, I, that's, I'm glad you did that. Uh, you worked there because uh, what do you think about the... Um, the big wing they have in the back and the, the uh, front part of the uh, car, which brings out, what, 700-some-odd pounds of uh, downforce on the car. I believe it's something like that, yes. And the big wing in the back, I love it myself. Matter of fact, I put the high wing on my, on my uh, C8 over here, yeah. and I just love it. You know, I'm, I'm kind of like a, a grown-up kid, I guess, if you will. <laughs> but as, as far as the exterior design... The, just the whole stance, the whole beefiness, it's much wider, much much more aggressive looking. You put the two cars side by side, and it's a world of a difference. If you see it by itself, it looks nice, it looks cool. But to really appreciate it, to put the regular Stingray and the Z06 side by side, it's awesome. It, it surely is, uh, and I, I applaud all you people that work there. Um, not only the design, uh, every every segment of uh, the design area because the car is spectacular. I mean, it's world class now. It's not just another Corvette. It's a world class Corvette, and it's, uh, we've got a lot of people all excited. And there's a big long waiting list. The waiting list, as far as you can see on the car, you know, it's just absolutely crazy. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time and your comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, I'm Rod Ballon from the Villages. And I'm glad to be here with all the other C8 Corvette owners. Oh, good. Yes, well, you know, C8 Corvette owners. And now we're looking at the new Z06. Ooh. What do you think? Z06. It's, it's, uh, it's about time. It's about time. It's long overdue. That flat plane crank European type sound is just unbelievable. The technology is, is beyond words. You know, basically, I, I love it. I think it'd be a great, great car. I'd love to have one. Except I hear the wait could be uh, the wait could be four years. So, it's crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it really is. is. Really and we can't even get the price yet. We're still waiting on the price. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had my name on a list, and they said they were going to sell it at market value, and I'm like, ooh, ooh. See ooh. you later. Yeah, see you yeah, later. Is right. Yeah. All but, right. Uh, thank you so much. You're Appreciate welcome, your comments. Bob. Now we'll go over here to this gentleman right here. Hi, I'm Mike Victor from uh, south of here in Tavares. And I'm dying to hear your impressions of the new Z06. Well, I think it's pretty cool. I sat in it the other day. Uh, you saw me over there at Navas. Yes, yes, I did. Yeah. So it looked just the same when you're sitting inside pretty much, except for all the carbon around here. But uh, it looked really nice. Uh, I'm afraid it's going to be a long wait if anybody wants one, though, unless you're pretty Yeah, I know. I wish they'd build a ton of them, but... I don't think they're going to. Um, that's, that does drive the price up a little bit, I think. Um, I know the, you know, if you got a brand new one today, you could probably sell it for a lot more than you paid for it. That's true. I really like the new motor, though. The, the new motor's fantastic. I know. That is very interesting. I, well, want, I want one in the regular Stingray. Doc, uh, tell me about uh, your impressions of the new uh, Z06. What do you think? Well, absolutely beautiful. Uh, of course, it was yellow like my car, so uh, I, I love the color on that. <laughs> yes, I love the color on that. Uh, I just think it's way too much car for the average Corvette driver. I think a lot of Corvette guys are wanting one, uh, but unfortunately, it's not a street model, and it does it an injustice if you're just going to drive it around, you know, uh, as a daily driver. Uh, it's made for the track, uh, and it should be tracked. So I think all the track guys would absolutely love it. But for me, I'm just, you know, a retired old guy who wants to drive my car around town and have some fun with it. So uh, not quite for me. I think I've got plenty, you know, with my regular C8 here. Uh, They'll sell out, I think, for an investment. If somebody wants to buy one up front and flip it, that, that's something else. But as far as an everyday driver for the average Corvette guy, I, I can't see it for, for the money that they're going to be getting for it. You know, we don't know where the price is going to be, but we're guessing the base price would be somewhere in the 90s. Uh, the one that they had to show, in my understanding, that was fully loaded. I'll bet it's $130,000, 140000 At least, at least, yeah. That's... Uh, that, you make a very good point, though. But a lot of guy, a lot of people, they don't need that car. Let, and the other thing I, I noticed too, when when people put that big wing uh, on the car, 
um, like on the Z06, if you put the big one at, wing on it and you get all the, the Z07 option and this and yeah. that, and you never track the car, it's kind of a waste of money. I think so. Right. Again, you know, if, if people got money to throw away and just want to use it for show, that's one thing. But as a, like I said, I'm an everyday driver with my Corvette, and I, I just think you're doing it in justice, actually, for the car. And I know uh, a lot of people talk about the uh, Ron Fellow School, and all people have gone to it. And everything I've heard back from the school has been very, very positive. How about you? Oh, loved it. Uh, went with another couple, and we, we took our wives. And I've got to tell you, they, they were so nice to our wives. They took them out on the track. They, uh, they really catered to them and didn't leave them hanging in the dark. It wasn't a guy's thing. Uh, so they really got to enjoy it, and the, the experience is phenomenal. Anybody who owns a new Corvette, if you have the opportunity to get out there, don't pass it up. Uh, it's Excellent. well worth it. Yeah, good, buy, good purchase price, too, for you know when GM subsidizes it like they do. Yeah, and I think anybody that owns a car that's uh, this performance, performance orientated should, if they haven't done schools before, they should definitely take advantage of this school and you get a discount on it too. Yeah, and you learn things you would never think of doing on your own. I'll give you an example, they do a wet track there and you do traction control. And one of the things, you, you'll wind up doing a, a 360 pluses and then he has you put it in weather mode. And you cannot spin the car out in weather mode. No matter how hard you try, the computer takes over for you and you couldn't spin out. I mean, that was just phenomenal for me to, to learn. Oh yeah. Let me get around here. Did you go look at it at Mayhouse? Yeah. yeah. It's nice, but you can't really tell much difference other than if you look at the engine or the side air intakes. Otherwise, it looks just like the interior is identical. Yeah, interior, interior looks pretty much identical. They do have some carbon fiber stuff you can stuff in there. It probably cost you a fortune. Yeah. And I'm sure that's very expensive because anything carbon, fi carbon fiber is expensive. Um, but overall, what, did, what were your impressions of the uh, Z06? You saw, were you over uh, Monday? Yeah. You were, okay. Over there. Yeah. Oh, just the guy. So what did you think? I liked it. It was nice. I liked the yeah. color too. But, you know. I'm done buying Corvettes. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, you got a heck of a you got a heck of a car. Just the way she sits right now, it's great. It is. It is. I don't need to go any faster. I know. How are you going to get any faster? You, know, you won't have any license left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Many thanks to Jeff Lagasse from Gen One Customs in Ocala, Florida, for coming down here and telling us all about ceramic coating that was really really great hit the subscribe button hit the little bell and you'll be able to know when we have any new notifications coming around here uh, about any more meeting greetings greets or maybe uh, any little uh, tours that we might go on with the c8 group so uh, good way to keep posted it doesn't cost you anything and uh, hopefully we'll see you again really soon yeah 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 Be matching your body. She no even trying, she got it. Yeah. I'll be here beside you. Anything I got you, you no know play. All you do is shut down the runway. Looking dangerous like a gunplay. Yeah. They all wanna grab you on you like a tattoo. Hey.